Hey everyone! So a few people have been asking how does my game look so good, which I'm very surprised about, thank you by the way. So in this video I'd like to just explain a little bit about my setup, show you the graphic settings and then just a couple of little tips at the end. So first of all, now when it comes to videos I'm always playing on my own private servers. Reason being is that in Ark Survival Evolved at least, uh, playing on a server just meant that your PC didn't have to host the game as well. In single player it could be quite resource heavy but in a server it meant I only had to load the graphics and for that reason I always got better performance. I'm doing the same thing again in ASA, I'm not sure if it's actually better but it seems that way. Logically it makes sense. I'm also always turning off clouds so right now in single player I've got about 60 FPS. When I turn off clouds I now have about 75 FPS so that does make a big difference not to mention the skybox is actually really pretty anyway. Now when it comes to my actual graphics um, I'll just go ahead and open this and you can copy it verbatim if you wish. Now I normally have everything set to medium uh, with shadows. So shadows is one of the more pricey ones where it can cost a bit of resources however I do sacrifice that one because I find that shadows in particular arc sucks without them and that's how there's a lot of like depth and niceness so I sacrifice a little bit to make it look a lot better but otherwise as you can see everything else is pretty much medium. I have all of the interactions quite low. I would like to have them higher but again need good FPS for the videos so I'll sacrifice these ones because I don't really notice them to be honest. I would like to have them but when do we actually really see it you know so I'll just set them down to one and uh, yep turned off footsteps, turned off uh, decals, all that kind of stuff. So yeah that's what I always run in conjunction with my clouds turned to zero and playing on a server. So if you just want to copy that feel free. One quick pro tip though when you are setting up the graphics, uh, set custom preset or graphic preset to low. For whatever bizarre reason, um, as of ASA, in ASC you were able to change everything but in ASA you can only now change a couple of things. So when you set it to low it's going to change a bunch of hidden settings to low as well that you wouldn't normally be able to change. So set it to low and then bring everything up to max or medium or whatever. I don't know aesthetically what difference that makes but it makes a big difference in performance. It gets you more FPS. Now one big tip I have, I am currently running on a Windows 10 custom build PC. I've got a Ryzen 9 5800X CPU, an RTX 3080 GPU or graphics card and 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, bearing in mind that my PC is more set up for rendering so I do a lot of 3D modeling, it just happens to be good for games as well. Now the reason why I don't use a 4080 or 90 is just money. I would love to have one but I can't. Now please bear in mind if you can afford a 4 series GPU or 5 series when it comes out, fantastic, but make sure that all of your other components on your computer are of the same generation. Arc isn't going to rely on the GPU alone. Your GPU will not carry your entire game. You need to make sure that your motherboard, your RAM and your CPU are up to par, at least compatible in terms of they can work, you know, synergized fully together because otherwise you're going to bottleneck your system. You might have a big beefy graphics card, but it's going to be hampered and held back due to the rest of your components. I don't know the details because I am not an IT person. But I've learned all of this from my husband who has provided all of my IT needs and allows me to do crazy software and rendering things. Plus he's always managed to make me and my friends fantastic computers that managed to perform well for several years. So I think it's safe to say he knows what he's talking about. Oh and of course other things as well like graphics driver updates, windows updates, keep everything like up to date because it does help and don't run unnecessary programs in the background. Whenever I'm recording ARC, I only really have Discord, Chrome and Steam open and that's pretty much it. Oh and for any starting YouTubers or editors wondering, I use Nvidia Shadowplay to record with. Nvidia Shadowplay is literally my GPU, my graphics card recording. What it does is that as my graphics card is generating every frames of the gameplay and display, it's recording them at the same time, which is amazing for performance reasons, but not necessarily compatible with all editing software, so do bear that in mind. But it's just another layer that helps guarantee I've got, you know, at least nice looking gameplay for you guys to look at, which I really appreciate that you enjoy. I'm always surprised to hear people say my game looks amazing because it's only on medium, but I'm glad it's working, fantastic. And I do hope that this video helps all of you. So thank you so much. I really hope this helps makes your ARC experience even better.